Well, we'll start with uh, welcome, and this is a bit like an, uh, a bench update, but not really. I don't really like to call them bench updates. Uh, basically, what happened in May, uh, we actually got the uh, European tram finished, uh, which is now very proudly uh, sitting on my sister-in-law's uh, unit which I will uh, just flash over to a picture of it now now she's quite happy <laughs> and she's having a case made for it so I'm very proud to have it uh, displayed like that in the front room uh, so that's done and finished that was all done in May also the 88 uh, that's all completed and finished now and there's been quite a lot that went on in May uh, I've done quite an extensive uh, refit of the my little workshop here or my little hobby room as we call it uh, you may even notice new tops and things like that so it's been a bit of a hectic month and now we're into June I would just like to plan a little bit ahead for June uh, the house which started off as a platform just to sort of show uh, bits and pieces is really gone into a, a, a project and I'll still keep it on the iVideos but uh, I'm going to move on now and get this uh, well completed and get it finished so we can actually uh, probably get something different started so that's basically what we're going to uh, discuss uh, because it is now uh, Saturday is it Saturday today? yes it is Saturday today Saturday so this will be going out for Sunday so starting as from Monday I will be back working on this now it hasn't been touched since the uh, last sort of update uh, a few things I've had to change to start off with uh, the panther that we decided well, I decided to actually have inside. Now the Panther, uh, when you actually build them, they are big vehicles. Now I'll bring in, I've already built the uh, recovery vehicle. It's in the weathering stage and it will be getting there. But the size of this Panther into that house, especially with the turret and everything else, I'm going to virtually have to devastate most of the house to actually get this panther in so I've come up with an alternate plan alternative plan even we're still going to be using the uh, panther recovery vehicle on the outside uh, I better move that out of the way actually we'll move that out of the way to the side I went off and uh, brought this little vehicle now this little vehicle is it's a uh, 7.5 centimeter pack 40 stroke 4 I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name of it but what it is it's a very small tank with a very big gun on it and I feel this will be more appropriate to actually uh, fit inside there that means I won't have to do too much you know devastation to it to actually make it look right uh, also this one has got uh, engine uh, interior and everything like that so <coughs> excuse me I feel this is small enough uh, for an ambush vehicle also I don't really need to smash too much of this house apart to actually get it in because it is a quite a small vehicle and I feel it would be the type of vehicle that they would back in 
and camouflage up and hide ready for oncoming vehicles so they could uh, pick them off so that is the vehicle I decided to actually go for uh, and this one I shall be building over the next week or so just so I can get some dimension but uh, it is extremely tiny uh, as you can see by the tracks they're very small and somewhere down the bottom is part of the lower hull and that is very very small but there's quite a, a large overhang on it so I feel it's going to be the right size to go in there so that's that bit done and sorted so uh, that's what's going to happen with that so pressing on with what's going to, going to happen is I'm going to be starting back on this so we're going to be starting back on the roof uh, get this chopped out now I've got that smaller vehicle I don't need to do as much uh, damage uh, roof wise so we're going to just cut a hole and have this front as if it's been blown in and then we're just going to shape these up to match I'm still going to move these windows over though uh, I, I still want these windows to be moved over that way because it just to me now it looks out of proportion I was trying to get too many windows in there to give the impression and it's it's okay but it's not gonna I'm not gonna be happy with it I'm gonna keep looking at it and I'm not gonna be happy with it so I'm gonna be shifting them over so there's gonna be quite a bit of work uh, done on this uh, I'm still undecided if we're gonna plaster it I'm, I'm not sure about them bits and pieces just yet but the things I am sure is, is that we're going to get this roof cut out we're going to get the tiles on and get this hole made slightly larger and get it really ready for the vehicle to go in I'm going to have to get the vehicle built get it in position so I can then sort of work out a, a sort of some sort of shape and pattern that this would actually be feasible so that is roughly it uh, also I have uh, a couple of uh, well not tutorials but uh, one on sandbags uh, uh, I've had a couple of people ask me about sandbags and how I did the 88 uh, sandbags in the 88 so I'm going to do uh, a short well it's going to be I'm going to make it a build that's what I think I'll do is I'll probably do a trench or of some shape size or description that you can actually see how that how I work my process of uh, putting the sandbags making them and putting them in there's no point in me just showing you you know this is a bit of clay do this and do that there's no point you I think you really need to see how they're put in place what put in place and shaped up to make the little scenes that you want to do with sandbags so I will be doing that sometime this month uh, also barbed wire uh, that's another one I did do one for my other channel uh, a very very long time ago and I think I will do uh, a new one because uh, I've had a few more new ideas on uh, doing the barbed wire so I think I will be doing one on that and picket posts as well uh, the actual uh, little picket posts that are used uh, to actually put the barbed wire on uh, I actually did the video a long long time ago uh, on making them I shall uh, do that as well because you can actually make uh, a little tiny jig up to actually make them and save yourself a lot of money so they're the things that are, I'm sort of aiming for for June uh, yes and that's that's about it it's just a, a little update just so you can 
understand in which direction I'm, I'm going on the builds because uh, like I say I've got two of the major builds out of the way I still have got two group build, well three group builds on the go <coughs> the uh, cheese uh, group build, the say cheese group build that uh, is will be coming I will be doing that on here actually because uh, I'm doing a slightly different base to that uh, not quite a diorama base and I can't give too much away not just yet also I've got the torch build which is going to be a mountain road uh, these will all be started in the next few days because I need to cut the bases uh, I will split them up into their own little sections and uh, I will uh, do my best to do a close video of the stages on each one as I'm going through and uh, if you may appreciate it that's a lot of work just in bit well in building them as well as uh, setting up and videoing each each bit as well so I will try my utmost to make sure that it's well it's as a, as a good build build thread there for you to have a look at and uh, hopefully you may get some ideas so really that's about it for uh, this sort of brief update and uh, like I say there is a few I'm, 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 I'm going on now there is a few uh, new moulds I've got a couple of new moulds to do reviews on uh, but I will be changing uh, the way I do the reviews uh, I will be running through the casting of each mould now uh, which I've already started as I'm casting uh, each separate mould there is a video up from start to finish uh, just running through how I cast them and please if you watch them and you know of a easier way to do it please leave it in the comment I'm always willing to listen to uh, new suggestions and new ideas so that is it <laughs> and uh, I'll just say thank you very much for sitting and listening to me waffle on and uh, hopefully we will see you on the next one.